हेलो स्टूडेंट्स बबर्स एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दिस वीडियो इज अ कॉन्टिन्यूएशन ऑफ द एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट चैप्टर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अबाउट सॉल्ट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी हैव सीन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉल्ट्स ड्यूरिंग वेरियस रिएक्शंस एज एसिड रिएक्ट विद बेस सॉल्ट एंड वाटर आर फॉर्म्ड नो वी विल डू मच अबाउट दैट दिस इज अ फैमिली ऑफ सॉल्ट्स राइट द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ सॉल्ट्स पोटेशियम सल्फेट दिस इज के टू एस ओ फोर यू हैव टू learn all these formulas next sodium sulfate na2so4 and then calcium sulfate caso4 and magnesium sulfate it's mgso4 copper sulfate cu cop it is again this is copper sul this is four and then comes copper sulfate cuso4 and uh, next is sodium chloride nacl sodium nitrate nano3 and uh, next is sodium carbonate एन ए टू सी ओ थ्री एंड अमोनियम क्लोराइड एन एच फोर सी एल दीज आर दीज दीज ऑल आर सॉल्ट यू आर लुकिंग दैट दीज ऑल दीज सॉल्ट हैव टू पार्ट्स we have to identify the acids and bases from which the above salts may be obtained as we see this is so4 so that means it is made up of sulfuric acid here comes sulfuric acid sulfuric acid sulfuric acid here again sulfuric acid hcl nitric acid and this carbonic acid and then hydrochloric acid this is and the other base if we see base which base is there potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide calcium these may be may be different but i am telling you one magnesium hydroxide copper hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide in this way we can see the acids and bases from which the above salts may be obtained salts having the same positive or negative radical are said to be belong to the same family for example sodium chloride and sodium sulfate belong to the family of sodium salts similarly sodium chloride and kcl nacl and kcl this if we take we can we will take na sodium family a salts of sodium salts and if we take sodium chloride and potassium chloride belong to chloride salts how many families can you identify among the salts given in this activity in the same way we can take more examples and can do no in the same way the ph of salts we can find activity according to activity 2.14 collect all these uh, salts i gave the list and if we collect all these salts and check whether they are acid or basic bases or uh, by the by testing the ph value salts of strong acid and strong base are neutral with ph 7 as we did in uh, last video on the other hand salts of strong acid and weak base are acidic and ph is less than 7 and those of strong acid and weak acid are basic in nature with ph 7 and uh, in this way we can take it 
if uh, it is sort of strong acid and strong base that means it is neutral then pH will be equal to 7 if we take the case of strong acid and weak base that means strong acid is there so it is acidic and its pH will be less than 7. In the third case if we take weak acid and strong base so he, this will be basic because here base is strong here acid is strong so it is acidic here base is strong so it is basic its pH will be greater than 7 this is all about the pH value of the salts. Now next is chemicals from common salt. And this is, this is we know as we know that there are many salts and uh, some what uh, the most common is uh, common salt which we use in cooking in the kitchen and the other is the rock salt this is the salt which is uh, found in the beds of the sea and you must be knowing about uh, Dandi March by Mahatma Gandhi that was also Satyagraha Andolan for salt and uh, so we will study about common salt the common salt is obtained as a is an important raw material for various materials of daily use such as sodium hydroxide, baking soda, washing soda and all. This common salt, hota hai, sodium chloride, this is used in kitchen, we make a lot of things and 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 we make a sodium chloride. Se hai. First comes the sodium hydroxide. When electricity is passed to an aqueous solution of sodium chloride, aqueous solution of sodium chloride, and uh, you look at this, this is written aqueous solution of sodium chloride, and this is called brine. You may be asked to question what is brine. Aqueous solution of sodium chloride is called brine. It decomposes to form sodium hydroxide. The process is called chloralkali process because of the products formed chlor for chlorine and alkali for sodium hydroxide. It, when electricity is passed through an aqueous solution of sodium chloride, it de because the brine solution it contains water it is liquid what happens sodium hydroxide chlorine and hydrogen gas is pro produced that means it is the formation of sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas is given off at the anode and hydrogen gas at the cathode these two gases are liberated and sodium hydroxide solution is formed near the cathode the three products produced in this section are very useful that means in this reaction three products are formed sodium all these are produced from sodium chloride sodium hydroxide chlorine and hydrogen three products are formed now this according to this diagram when the electrolysis is done chlorine is liberated from this side 
This chlorine is used for water treatment, swimming pools, and PVC, disinfectant, CFC, pesticides, in sabhi mein ye use hoti hai. Swimming pools ko clean karne ke liye, water purify karne ke liye, and PVC, polyvinyl chloride ke liye, CFC ke liye, or pesticides mein chlorine use hoti hai. Or this is on the anode side. And at the cathode, hydrogen gas, this is used for fuel, margarine, ammonia, and fertilizers. And the third thing is sodium hydroxide, that is also... Uh, near the cathode and this brine containing sodium hydroxide solution this comes on the cathode side and, the, and the, in the next video we will do about the bleaching powder uh, please like and comment and share my video thank you